Hi, can I ask how exactly does one set a lemon on fire? Microwave for 40 minutes. Why were you microwaving a lemon? I read boiling lemons help cover up bad smells. I wanted to cover up the scent of burnt oranges, but I don't didn't own any pots. Did you burn an orange too? How? Microwave for 40 minutes. How's it going everyone and welcome back to Easy Peasy. My name is Zach and today we're going to be taking a look at r slash that happened. I was standing in line for dessert. This little girl and her mom were in front of me. The mom gathered some sweets then walked away, calling for her daughter to follow her. The little girl instead grabbed the tongs for the macaroons, picked up a macaroon, then put it back. She looked at me and said, I'm saving that one. Don't touch it. I smiled politely as she walked away. Then, I don't even like macaroons, y'all. My band teacher got the school's permission to let our band play meme music in the hallways during transition. The sixth grade teachers were so triggered when I got to do a solo. I am first chair and everyone but my band teacher hates me. I did when mom isn't home. This is also first chair trumpet solo we did the solos together oh sorry that says two together nice TLDR, my boyfriend showed me our mirror was distorted. I actually had no reason to have been depressed, crippled with eating disorders for years. Edit. Everyone chill. Yes, I'll post pics. Yes, the post simplifies the story. Yes, I encountered other mirrors, but none where I was naked and mostly face ones. Ever since I had moved out and got my own flat, my body had gotten fatter, uglier. Looking at the mirror was becoming torture, getting worse and worse, so I avoided every mirror in my life. The gym was too frightening for my poor self-esteem, so I'd just diet, run outside, do squats and bridges at home. But still, it looked like a monster, a fat, disproportioned one. My boyfriend would tell me my body was perfectly fine and hot. I just did not, did not believe him. Today, I broke down in tears in front of him. He, he realized how unhappy I was until I said, I can't even look at this mirror. He exploded in laughter. I was completely lost. He pointed at the mirror. You mean this mirror? Yeah, this freaking mirror. To which he replied, listen, I love you, but you are freaking dumb. He had me stand in front of the mirror. Got it, I look ugly. And then he pressed against the mirror. What the frick just happened? I suddenly looked just fine. Once he had managed to stop laughing, he told me, dude, I call it the Shrek mirror. It's just so bent forward. It makes you look like a monster. I actually thought you were keeping it because it's so fun to look like Shrek. For the last three years, I thought I was the ugliest woman on earth. Turns out I'm just the most stupid one, unable to tell my cheap mirror had become disordered over time. How do you not realize that? How do you not? Okay. You look at that mirror. You look at other mirrors throughout your life, right? You, this is. This is stupid. This did not happen. I came up behind a car on the highway last night with a license plate of Moby DCK. I went to pass the car and it turned out to be this hulking Oldsmobile of solid white. I got a huge laugh out of it while my husband just looked at me, not understanding. I explained what the license plate had said and that the car was essentially a white whale, uh, that I thought it was a clever little thing to do. My husband said that I was probably the only person on the planet who would have understood the reference other than that car driver, and maybe I should marry that guy instead. Husband aside, I thought it was too funny to keep to myself and wanted to see if any of my fellow book lovers thought it was funny as well happy saturday i'm going over this interview in my head and man i saw we both like games cool he said say you get another job that offers more can you give me at least two weeks notice how loyal are you my dumb a without skipping a beat i'm very loyal my favorite anime is naruto that guy is crazy loyal i learned from him he laughed for a full minute and shook my hand. Officer Blink and I are going to get along with you just fine. I only did it because we had similar personalities and I knew it would work, but wow, my dumb A really mentioned Naruto during an interview and it worked. Lamau, believe it. N I No, I refuse. <laughs> hey, what you up to? I'm having a bad two days. GF most in involved in an accident. Tried to stop two thugs from stealing. Q car. Wheel kids and it ended up in hospital gone through two acomas don't know how but she's on bad shape she is pretty much a celebrity over there lots of famous people are praying for her sending me tweets giving blessings even the queen visited i'm surprised news in the region north america um you know there's daily updates to the queen available online for everyone right i would have known if that happened as for what i'm doing i'm busy playing the newest fire emblem game not since this accident is hush hush thanks to my diplomatic and nato connections Good God, that that hurts my head. One time, my husband bought me a butterfly necklace. The lady told him it was perfect for me at K's. Needless to say, after Xmas, we went to K's. I found the lady who he bought it from and returned said item for a simple yet elegant necklace and told the lady I'm not eight and you should never tell a grown man to buy a butterfly or heart anything of the sort for his wife. She was appalled and her manager came over laughing, saying we were the second couple to come in after this. Lady sold another awful necklace to lady it is so hard to understand what they're trying to tell us but i know it doesn't it's not it, it, it didn't happen so i don't i don't need to it's just it, my head hurts I saw a kid, probably about 16, six or seven years ago wearing a Nirvana shirt. I said to him, it's nice to see younger generations still listening to good music like Nirvana. He looked super confused, looked at his shirt, looked back at me, and said with the most confused look on his face, Nirvana is a clothing company, not a band. His mom, I assume, looked so ashamed and embarrassed, I wanted to punch him in the throat. 
Jesus Christ, dude. My older brother was still looking for my dad to get his ticket, so I was by myself. This was 2002 and I was nine, so no cell phone either. His bodyguard asked me where I got my ticket from. It was on a lanyard and my family was passing it back and forth. I said something along the lines of, my brother and I were sitting way up in the nosebleed seats, but now I have this ticket and get to sit here. He understood that to mean I stole my ticket from a stranger. The bodyguard took this very seriously and flagged stadium security. This scared the crap out of me because I had no way of contacting my parents or proving my story. I suddenly thought I was going to get kicked out and ruin the night for the rest of my family. I was on the verge of tears when Kobe turned to the stadium security guy and told him I was his guest. He then told his bodyguard to leave me alone and he said he'd sign anything I had. It doesn't seem like a big deal now, but it really meant a lot to me then. Okay, not only did this not happen, but was this written post Kobe death? Because that's just, that, that's just wrong. So I accidentally made crystal meth in science. I didn't mean to. I mixed the wrong things together and I think I'm about to be expelled. Yay, chemistry. <laughs> Where was this posted? Like, I... I, I don't I don't even know. I came downstairs from a one night stand at this girl's apartment one Sunday morning. There was a sad dude sitting on the couch after the usual acknowledgements and a brief chat. He admitted to being her boyfriend. I apologized, said she told me she was single, etc. Et he said, wow, you're way cooler than the last one. I felt so bad about how she had dude beat down. I made him come with me and we left to get brunch. I kind of laid down the laws about relationships being a two way street and not hanging out with people you can't trust not to crap on you. He dumped her shortly after. We're still bros. I guess the rule here is help a brother out, especially when their heart and ding dong have their brain malfunctioning. I feel like this is from like an episode of a dumb show. One of my friends name is Ophelia and every time she enters the classroom somebody plays that song. R slash that happened. Had to laugh in Aldi today. Uh, Blink likes to munch a pepper as we wander around picking up what we need. The lady at the till couldn't believe how much she ate. She called over three cashiers and the ladies at the next till uh, came over to see her eating it too. So today me and a group of friends created a riot at school, but our goal was to not make it turn into a riot. So me and my friend Zadare and Amari put something in our stories saying to meet up outside the media center in memory of Juice World and just pretty much chance his name. So us and about 15 other people showed up and there's a little commotion. A teacher asked where we were supposed to be and my one friend named Zach hey said right here and all of us were like yeah and we started walking as a big group down the hall about 80 other people joined in and it was an un unstoppable wave the teachers all told us to go to a classroom and it was impossible to stop eventually a police officer had to make a small barricade in the hallway to stop us and me and my friends that started it said that we were just in the hallway and got stuck and couldn't get out none of us got in trouble also while we were marching we were chanting juice uh so that's the story uh, no. Okay, so today in chemistry, this kid Roman was walking across the room to get something, and he tripped, and this one girl immediately shouts, The Empire has fallen! And I cried. <laughs> okay, if that happened... That would be pretty funny, I, I gotta say. Roman is sniffling and has a snotty nose. Me. Are you getting sick, buddy? Roman. Yeah, I'm getting sick of you not letting me have your phone. Th that's not funny. Um, this is a carry because these people are breaking in our apartments and this guy said lock your doors and don't come out because they have BSTS and they're breaking in the apartments and I'm scared. <laughs> what? Y'all, my daughter woke me up out of my sleep crying and said, Mommy, I know you're tired of working trying to make it better for me and my siblings. I'll go to work for you today. This made me cry. She's only one. Ah, uh, yes, a one-year-old said all of that. I'm just going to watch Shrek in my head. As a little kid, I was so obsessed with Shrek. I mean, the kind of obsessed where I'd watch it over and over again days in a row. It was all I ever wanted to watch. It got to the point where I had memorized it word for word and beat for beat. This meant that somehow I could watch it in my head, time perfectly, no fast forwarding, no skipping. Now, this was fine for car trips and such because my dad would be like, hey, do you want some coloring in to do? And I'd be like, nah, I'm going to watch Shrek in my head. Occasionally, my dad would ask where I was up to in the movie, just to check on me. You're probably thinking, huh, that's weird, but cool, I guess? Wrong, sort of. It got so bad that I'd watch it in my head at night before I went to sleep. My dad would literally check on me at night, notice I was blankly staring up at the ceiling, and I had and have to yell, stop watching Shrek and go to sleep. I can't remember how this faded from being one of my abilities, but it sure was cool while it lasted. But for a while, Shrek really was my life. I... It's just, I, I don't, the people put so much effort into writing these, but it just didn't happen. I'm gonna be honest, I had this dude talking really loud right in my ear one morning on the train and I was not having it. I looked at him and said, shut the frick up, but he just brushed it off and looked at me weird. So I grabbed him by the shoulder, looked him dead in the eyes and said, get off your phone now or I'm going to mess you up. He gave me some sort of made up reason he had to get off the phone to the person he was talking to and obviously thought I was crazy. I believe you should be respectful in close quarters and in public. If you need to take a call, do so in private, but don't shout like you're all by yourself people are stupid as they are and this subreddit has proved that story time there was this kid who just passed out on his desk so i tried to get him to wake up and move because he was in the way five minutes later he wakes up and tries to freaking strangle me i don't know what the frick was wrong with that guy this happens like five minutes ago too like wtf who strangles a kid bigger than him i honestly want to punch that kid's throat jesus christ 
And well, that brings us to the end of r slash that happened. If there's one thing I've learned today, uh, these people are big fat liars, and also they need to learn how to type so I can correctly uh, say a lot of this stuff, because it makes me feel dumb. But hey, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time easy peasy uploads. And until the next one, I'll see you around.